Alrighty, NT8 on the porch. I want to conserve some of this uh, history, presidential losers from 1968. USS Pueblo, outside of the 12 mile uh, ocean property line. North Korea captured the USS Pueblo. They hold the ship all to this day and they've already got the people. Something like that with the United States. The people of the ship have already been sent back. And uh, this North Korea freighter was hauling coal from North Korea to Indonesia. And we inspected it and seized it. So, they're not getting their ship back. But the USS Pueblo is not getting our ship back from 1968. Here's what I think. You want your fucking freighter back? Then give us back the USS Pueblo. It's still flagged. It's still current in the United States Navy only seized by the North Korea. Trump's the only one that's got to think about this. From 1968, which was under a Democrat president, and then eight years of Nixon, or seven years of Nixon, and then Carter, and Jesus Christ, look at how far it's gone from both sides. And nobody's dealt with the USS Pueblo that's still been seized all these years. Captured. And I'll put a video at the end of it to show you what it looks like, what happened to that ship. But there's no video of what we did to the North Korea coal freight because we didn't do any shit. We just seized it because it's transporting coal illegally that we've already put in. So North Korea was today at the UN bitching that they want their ship back. Why didn't the UN ever go after North Korea to release the uh, Pueblo? I don't know. Something for you to think about. NT8 on the porch. We'll talk to you later. Inside North Korea, an American Navy intelligence ship captured 50 years ago, still on display here. A window into the past that still haunts retired Marine Sergeant Bob Chicka. All of a sudden something hits and holy cow. On January 23rd, 1968, Chicka was taken prisoner while on the USS Pueblo, 14 miles from North Korean land. He remembers the ship surrounded and taking fire. It happens so fast you don't know what's going on. It blew me off my feet. One crew member was killed in the attack, 82 others taken as prisoners. U.S. negotiators met for the third time today with North Korean communists at Panmunjom. Eleven months of torture followed. They kicked me a lot. 
and uh, it caused a lot of problems. The USS Pueblo is now part of a North Korean war museum. Inside the ship, artifacts frozen in time. A hallway scarred by shrapnel. In this room, you will see the pictures of officers and their confessions. And propaganda. The American crew fought back in their own ways, some extending their middle fingers in photos like this one. Freedom came in December 1968. The men walked one by one across the bridge of no return into South Korea. When you're just a little bit from the other side, you get this one's for free. <sighs> This one's for real, and you're getting out. The capture of the USS Pueblo brought America and North Korea close to another full-scale conflict. If history repeats itself, perhaps there are some lessons here for today. The ship is now a Cold War trophy, and for the people here, it's seen as a symbol of strength against the US. Trump, if he really provoke the Korean War against our country, then we are going to achieve our final victory. It depends on the American president. Yes. 50 years after the USS Pueblo was captured on high seas, an undercurrent of old hostilities remain. And today's tense standoff between North Korea and the US leaves many wondering whether war can be avoided once again. Keir Simmons, NBC News, Pyongyang, North Korea.